Hi folks, um, I'm not answering questions today because I have my own question that you need to answer for me. I put my time in, I've answered questions. You have to answer my question. Let me set the stage a little bit because I'm in the same boat as the rest of us here in the world that I want life to get back to normal and I want to go out to dinner with my wife and I got to get away from the kids you know, when I'm home. When I'm at the office, I want to see more children there because that's what a pediatric office is. It's to see kids. And it's also a business, so it helps generate income and our staff can get paid and they can take care of their families. When I'm here in the hospital, it's, it's a different environment. It's about staying away from people, about not knowing if the person who looks healthy has coronavirus or if the person that looks deathly ill doesn't have it. You, don't, you just don't know, so you try and keep your distance. In a pediatric ICU, you never know what the kids have and what they don't have, so you wear personal protective equipment. It's like a paper gown, paper mask, rubber gloves. You go into the room, you put your gloves on, you put your gown on, you put your mask on, and you examine the child, and then you take them off and you leave the room. But with the shortage now in the United States, there aren't enough gowns and masks. So you have to recycle them. So you examine the patient and then you hang up your gown and, and mask to use it the next time you go in there. And I understand that and I can do my part because I'm a team player. So I thought, okay, I can do that. I can recycle my disposable items. But then I thought, that's contam those are contaminated items. So if I hang them up, I put them on again, wouldn't I touch a contaminated part of that and infect myself? Isn't that possible? So I thought, oh, well, that's fine. I mean, I, I, can, I can do that. I can do my part. And then one of my doctor friends was telling me that her mother is making her her own personal mask. And I thought, that's spectacular that a mother would do that. You know, only a mother's love to protect your child from a deadly illness that she would make a mask for. Her. And then I was reminded that there are a lot of women in, in my community who are making masks, they're volunteering their time to make masks for the medical people. And I thought, how wonderful that is. And then I thought, so now our mothers are in charge of making our medical equipment to protect us against an infectious disease that could kill us? I mean, our, mother, our mothers are in charge of that? Okay, that's fine. And then I was looking at pictures of nurses wearing garbage bags in the COVID-19 units, and my first response was, that's a nurse for you, because nurses are very resourceful. Nobody's gonna stop them from taking care of their patients. If they don't have what they need, they adapt, and they go right in there. And I thought, why are nurses wearing garbage bags to go to work? To protect them against a bug that could kill them. A garbage bag? And this is the United States. We're the greatest country in the world. People fly across the ocean to get medical care here. And we can't even protect our own medical people against this bug? It doesn't make any sense to me. I, that's what I don't understand. And then I see a, a $2 trillion budget passed where people will benefit from getting a check. And you, you can have all these people get together to pass that $2 trillion budget, but you can't get masks and gowns made in, in the United States to protect the medical workers. Because if they get sick, there's not gonna be anybody to take care of them, and then there's not gonna be anybody to take care of the sick people. So I don't understand it. That's I'm trying to wrap my head around it, how this can happen here in this country. So can you please tell me? That's my question. I, I just need to know the answer to that, how that can happen. Feel free to share this, whomever you want, that can help answer that. Feel free to send this to your congresswoman or congressman or senator or office of the president, because I don't get it. 